There are a number of ways that a user can control their group site experience. The trick is under the My Settings tab. When you select the My Settings tab, you'll notice that our sub-navigation bar gives you five options. My Profile, My Preferences, My Endorsements, My Objectives, and My Key Connections. We'll go over each of these in turn. The My Profile tab takes you to the Profile Settings page. This allows you to control all elements of your profile. A unique feature of group sites is that you are given a dual profile persona. You are allowed to have a professional profile as well as a social profile. On a group site by group site basis, you can decide which elements you want to share with that group. Perhaps in one group, you'd like to have your professional details visible. But in another group, you want to turn those details off. This allows you the flexibility to show as little or as much as you want based on the context that you have with the group and the trust that you have with other group members. Updating any of these elements is as easy as clicking on the title and filling in the fields with the correct information that you wish to share. We even have a bio builder, which allows you to easily create your online bio by simply selecting the areas that you wish to fill out and as you complete the information, it builds the text of your bio statement in real time. In addition to the standard fields that you can add to your profile, you can add custom elements at any time by clicking the Customize My Profile button. This allows you to use our standard editor to add things like videos. You can also add top 10 lists to your profile. Any elements that you add can easily be added on a group site by group site basis to your profile. To see what your profile looks like to other users, you can click the View My Profile as others see it and you'll be able to see your profile as other members of the group see it. If you'd like to change the arrangement of any of the elements of your profile, you can easily drag and drop those title bars and rearrange the order of your profile page. This can be done on a group site by group site basis. While the My Profile tab allows you to decide how much of you you want to share with the group, the My Preferences tab allows you to make decisions on how much of the group gets shared with you. The first section is the My Contact settings. This allows you to choose which email address you want information from the group sent to, as well as it allows you to decide if you want that information to be visible to all group members or people you endorse or perhaps nobody. We then have Email Preferences. This allows you to control how much of the information stays at the group site so you can go to it and how much of the information comes to your inbox so it can come to you. You can decide to have email blasts such as calendar, discussion, and email blasts sent to you from all group members or only group managers. By default, we can set you to subscribe to discussion forums. This means when you weigh in on a discussion, everyone who replies to that discussion, you'll automatically get an email with that reply to your inbox. If you choose not to have that much email coming to you, you can choose to not subscribe to those discussions that you participate in. We also allow you to receive email notifications if you're endorsed by other group members. You can turn that on or off. And finally, we have recent activity updates. These allow you to stay in touch with, through via email with what's happening in the group. And you can decide what activities matter to you. Perhaps you don't care about profile updates, but you do care about calendar updates. You choose which elements are important to you and how frequently you'd like to have them sent to your inbox. It could be daily, twice a week, perhaps you say never. I'll just update this and I'll go to the group site when I want the information instead of it coming to me. It's that easy. The My Endorsements tab is where you can see where others have said good things about you as well as where you have given appreciation and com good comments to other members of either this group or other group sites. These endorsements appear on your profile page. While the overall objective of the group is the most important thing about a group site, we also realize that individual members have their own personal objectives. And here's where you can share that. By deciding to share an objective, you can add to your personal page those things that you're trying to accomplish individually so others can try to help you meet your goals as well as the group goals. The My Key Connections tab is a way for you to share those resources that you have outside of a group site with members of the group site. We do not ask for email addresses and phone numbers. What we do ask is that you share the company name, the individual's role within that organization, as well as the strength of your relationship. 
That way folks can search on those company names and see who you're connected to and ask whether or not you'd be willing to make an introduction for them as a resource. All these capabilities are at the hands of any user under the My Settings tab of a group site.